All right, so what's going to happen is when I um, save this, I can basically right click on assignments, right click on PHP MySQL tests, whatever, and I can send that to the server. Whatever folder I click on, it's going to send that to the server. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and save this. And I'm going to do one thing real quick. I'm going to come into um, my uh, test kit folder again. I'm going to click on assignments. And for right now, uh, just to show you what happens, I'm going to go ahead and delete that. See how I deleted it here? Let's go back to VS Code, and you can see it's been deleted here. So I just want to show you that anything that you do there uh, on you know on your file explorer, it's going to work the same way in VS Code. You can actually delete them from here, and it'll, you know, vice versa. Okay, so we've got this right here. And what I want to do is I want to um, put this folder right here in these files and folders and files on the server, but just this one. So I just right click and I do upload folder and it's going to ask me for my password. And you can see it says done down here. I didn't get any error messages. So that means it worked. Let's find out if it did. So if I go back over to where I've logged into my server right here and uh, I'm in the public uh, HTML folder again, hit the LS. Sure enough, there's my test kit right there. And if I go into that, so I'm gonna go CD on uh, test kit and, and LS, sure enough, I got the PHP MySQL test right there, okay? And if I wanna um, go into that, I can go CD, remember change directory, PHP MySQL test, go into that LS and there's some folders. Now what I need to do, um, is I need to get the, um, I'm gonna have to put the database in there, you know, which is right here. So I've got these files on here, but if I try to run this program right now, it's not gonna work. I have to put the database in there. And actually it's, it's not the database, it's a database table. And it's very, very simple to do. So I've already given you the file, it's in this uh, SQL file right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to um, CD uh, SQL just like that. And then when we ls that, you can see I have this uh, file called uh, create.sql. Now, since I'm already in this folder right here, and this is the file that I have, very easy to do this. All I do is I write my SQL, and then I do a little arrow pointing to the left, and then I write create.sql, just like that. I hit enter, and it automatically did it. I know you didn't see it happen, it did so fast, it just did it. Okay, so it should have created a table called customers and I'll automatically put some data in it. Let's find out if it did. So I can write MySQL again and it goes into the what's known as the MySQL shell. And even though it says MariaDB, it's fine. MySQL is the command you use, MariaDB is what shows up. Okay, so um, if I go to uh, show tables like that, there's my customers table right there. You won't have all these other ones, but you will see this one. That one is what should be there. And then what you can do just to test it, and then come over here and go uh, select and just do star from customers. Don't forget the semicolon. And if you get something that looks like this, all the data is there. So that's all you really need to do with the database. That just ensures that the database has been hooked up. Okay? So to get out of the, the database um, shell, which is right here, you just write exit. And you can see I'm now back in that SQL file. Okay? So let me clear my screen, get back to the top. So I'm in that SQL file right now. And what I need to do is I need to write that, I need that database connection information. I don't have it um, for the PHP side to work. And I'm gonna show you how that works. So first thing is go CD and then do a tilde like that. That will take you back to your home directory. Now what you write is you write LS hyphen LA. And when you hit the enter key, you're going to see all these files that have dots in front of them plus all your other ones okay and the one you're going to be specifically focused on is this my.cnf right here that file okay well what you do uh, is you need to find out what your username is which is going to be your washington username but the biggest thing is you know what your password is because you don't know what that is well it's stored in that file okay so the way you find it or open it is you just go cat.my.cnf just like that and when you do that, here's your password right here. Okay, now mine's, mine's of course blurred out, but yours is gonna be right here. So you basically just take that, that password right there, just copy it, just like that. Your host is localhost, user is shaper, database is shaper. 
Now, mine's at Shaper. Yours will be your username, whatever it writes here, whatever it has here. Okay, so keep that in mind. I'm showing you what's what's for me. Yours is going to be different. Okay, got that information. You run over to uh, to this right here. You can close this file. You go into PHP MySQL test. You go into classes and you open up this DB con file right here. And you can see that it's asking you for the host, the name, the user, and the password. All right, now Glenn, my password's um, blurred out, but that's what it's asking you for. Now, what you want to do is for your host, you write localhost. For your name, you write your Washtenaw username. This is your Washtenaw username right here. Okay. For the user, it's going to be um, a database user. It's going to be, again, your Washtenaw username. And then the password is going to be the password that you um, just copied. So you just paste your password into there, and um, you'll be all set. Okay, so once you've done that, you go ahead and you save that file. Okay, I've already done it. Um, it's already got my information in there, so I don't need to save it. But you save that file. Once you save that file, it's automatically going to update it on the Russet server. It will not update it on the GitHub server. It won't do that. You got to do that manually. But this one, it will automatically update it on the uh, on the Russet server. In fact, I'll do it real quick just to prove it. So I can go localhost. I'll go underscore um, test. Okay, just like that. Go ahead and save that. I'm going to come over here, and I got to kind of uh, go into it. So CD public HTML uh, test get uh, PHP MySQL test um, whoop, classes. All right, so I got in that far. Uh, I'm going to do ls, and then of course it's that dbcon file. If I just go cat um, dbcon, and uh, we scroll up just a little bit, there it is. See localhost test. So you can see that got updated. Now I got to change that because you don't want to do that. This is just a test to show you that it works. So let me <clears throat> let me go ahead and uh, uh, clear my screen here. Let me go back to, to here and I'm going to take that out. Okay, so it's back to localhost. Please keep it that at localhost. Okay, save the file. Now it's all right, man, we've been updated. Okay, so at this point, we put the data in the database and everything is, is good, okay? Um, it, it should be working fine, but now we got to test the program to see if it works. You don't need to do anything else here, okay? So the way you test it is you open up a browser window, go to any new tab, and here's what you type in. You type in russet v 8wccnetedu forward slash tilde, your username, which mine is at shaper, forward slash. Now you don't need to do the public underscore HTML, so all you need to do is just do test underscore get, but mine, yours won't be test get. I'm writing in test get because that's where the next folder is. Everything that I have is in test get. Okay, so you don't have to write test get. And then um, PHP MySQL test, just like that. So the only thing that's going to be different for yours is you're going to have a different username right here, and you're going to have a different uh, parent file, whatever it is. That will be the same. And go ahead and hit enter. And if that pops up like this, you're good. You've got it. It's all done. Now what you can do is you just copy this link right here. And that's what you're going to submit to me so I can test your page to make sure you've done it. That's how easy it is. So there's really not much to it.